Hey Stampers, Gator again and I saw a lady doing uh, a little tissue packet. Uh, let me get my tissues up because I'm going to need another one and I just dropped it on the floor. You know individual tissues. Uh, if you were doing, sorry about that, I'm using old designer service paper because at the end of the day uh, We've got loads lying around that we want to get rid of. And these are those individual packets ladies put in their handbags and stuff. And they're so cute. I've got I've just dropped them on the floor. <laughs> so this is the box. How cute is that? These would be perfect for swaps or little craft fair ideas or if you were just going to you know like um how can I say? You may go to old folks' homes and they have little get-togethers. They'll have like a luncheon on. Uh, maybe have a little craft fair or some bingo. These would be cute little gifts. Um, this does move. It's a little bit stiff, mine. It does move. <laughs> Trust me. But look at this. It's so cute. And I've just used the inside paper for the belly band. And it holds a full packet of these beautiful tissues. I just think it's really cute. And the ladies stamp bleh, Craft with Jane. Yeah, Craft with Jane. I use my little heart punch, but I'm going to get uh, my one inch circle punch. So give me a second. So simple. We'll cut the paper and we'll also find my circle punch. I'm going to put a little bit of a bigger, woo, <laughs> a little bit of a bigger hole in my little holder so I can get my tissues out. So let's just see. I'm just going to try and keep it roughly in the centre. It's just a little bit ski with, but there we go. It fits. It's cute. I've got the, the bottom. Uh, the join here and the closure of the packet at the back and this is a set look at this I've had this for a while but I've got another one of these I've got this beautiful another one there you could add there's quite a bit in this it's black a berry beauty of ephemera kit and I've had it quite a while now but every now and then I come up I find it and I think oh I can use that so I'm going to pop that beautiful label out and this gorgeous leafy scene, so cute. Uh, but you've got the owl, you've got these other flowers. Uh, I've got two of those, so you can tell where I've used. There's, I've got a couple of labels left, but plus also, it comes with these gold um, um, uh, embellishments as well. So, But as you can see, I'm just going to use those. If you want to stamp and die cut your own flowers out go for it or leaves if you've got um the layering leaf set anything like that so let's pop that to one side and all i did you don't you don't i don't i don't even take that out but i'm just gonna layer my stamp and put thank you or you could put um thinking of you i just love you know me i love my stamp thank you but how cute is that even if you just kept it in your handbag um it would look cute as you pull it out your hand people would say wow where did you get that from so cute so i got a piece of designer series paper it's 12 by 12 this is an old piece um I've got another one the same, but I haven't got quite enough of these beautiful purples. I could actually use that as a belly band, but I've already scored that. Maybe, oh, that would go pretty together. Let's see. Right, let's just, I this was my favourite paper at the whole packet. That blue is just absolutely stunning. So one, two. you never know, that even could be a sleeve. Let me just cut this down with you. Grab my trimmer. Got my tissues. And 
it's non-directional paper and you're going to need seven and three eighths and it's not this piece of used for the belly band you're going to cut this one down now to seven and a half so that's the piece you're going to need for your box was that seven and a half then <laughs> yeah seven and a half and i use this section to two inches but you could do three if you wanted a wider band on your box so but let's see yeah this is gonna fit so let's do three inches of this and do seven and a half so I can use the rest of that on another card oh love it so my papers are going away so that is just gonna look absolutely stunning and even though they're blackberry bliss colors i think it will blend beautiful oh let me just score this at uh an inch it's only to start it off and when we get the other wrap ready we'll go round. but now I'm going to fetch in my scoreboard and we want this on the seven and three eighths inch side and we're going to score this at one inch and five and three eighths six and three eighths turn it to the long side and it's two and a quarter three and a quarter <laughs> five and a half and six and a half and that's it so sick you can see it better on this side so tissue box is literally there are your measurements and there are your scoring so the seven and three eighths is the short side it's one five and three eighths six and three eighths then the seven and a half inch side is two and a quarter, three and a quarter, five and a half and six and a half. And they make pretty little gifts. And now, like I'm saying, to do a belly band, it's literally the same length as my seven and a half. And all you have to do is score half, uh, one inch. So when we come to wrap then, we can just squeeze. And once we got the line, we can just fold. So, right, let's just go, let's, let's burnish all these score lines so you can see where we need to cut. Because this paper's quite difficult. But you can, because it's designer search paper, you can do it with your hands. But if you don't want to use designer search paper, use cardstock and then add your uh designer series papers after so let me see right this is the piece i'm gonna flip this over because now you're gonna cut the two squares off that are there and we're gonna mitre that slightly uh, i think i might just get my oh i can't see the score line there it is and we're just gonna mitre that slightly and we're gonna remove that square as well and then these squares, I'm going to use my smaller scissors actually because I d knowing my luck I'll cut too far. So cut your first square and a little piece out. I think I've made these before but it, I made them with um, cardstock. Again you've got another little inch square there. You might have those out as well. Get rid of those pieces and that's your box this is going to be the bottom of your box so now we need to slice up slice up we're going to remove that one and we're going to mitre up 
and up. What I might do, because this paper is quite difficult to look at and see where you're cutting. And then again, this side, I'm going to cut up. We're going to remove. And then we're going to mitre. Just a slight little bit. Right, now what we're going to do, because this section, this is where we are going to glue down and make our box. This is going to be the bottom. So we're just holding it in our hand for a minute and then we're going to decide we're going to remove this flap so this one can go at the back. Or if you want it to come to the front, in fact, no, I'm going to... I'm going to remove this one and then we're going to use that one. It doesn't matter which one you want, it'll still close your box, but you only need one. So, let me just make sure I've got that nice and straight. And then what you're going to do is only mitre from the first score line out. just enough for us to tuck inside you could even round the corners but it, you need to slither just a little bit off so it tucks inside the box get rid of these bits I could just flick them on the floor but then my back won't let me bend down and pick them up so <laughs> So now this is our box. I ran out of, oh, I was going to say I ran out of tearing tape, but I've got a little bit left. It was my sock wang that ran out yesterday. So I'm going to add some tape right on the very end. And you want it as close to the end as possible because when you tuck your flap inside and then go all the way up to the edge, stiff, it's okay on the bottom, but up the top here, you want it all the way to the edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut an angle and then you want a piece that's all the way, oh this is running out now as well look, so all the way from your score line, I can't use that, it's running out, oh, Gaynor's going to have to use a bit of thicker one. So let me over flap and I'll show you that's going all the way up let me just click that out of the way that's maybe adding um, you can leave it like that or just snip off so it's nice and straight and the same at this end because you just don't want any of it coming off so get your little bits off. It's one of the simplest boxes we'll put together. So let me just check uh, there. This is the flap we're going to need some more tape on. And again, put it right at the edge. I've gone over now. There we are. No, I haven't. I'm going to put two lots on. Just wide enough for my tape go on oh look at it it's super strong tape you can put this on up you can even use wet glue here but I'm just uh, pulling this apart so let's just oh I don't think that's stuck it's not stuck look it's it's not stuck all the way across because my tapes run out let me just grab a new tape do I have one in my drawer I do have one up here. Ooh. Oh, excuse me, ladies. Oh, Kenny okay, needs a bit of uh, back care. Sorry about the noise. Wow. I love this Sukwan tape. I I don't think I've used one in over a year, maybe two years since I last opened my the last one. But uh, this is one eighth of an inch or one sixteenth. I can't remember. But I tell you what, what 
strong strong tape and like I'm saying keep it all the way to the end because you like you say this is where you're gonna fold and I don't know why that's better making sure I've got my burnished have I come over I think I've come over too much I may have done yes yeah. so just peel off the tape and I'm just using my finger to push back again because it's dark to see I've come too far over but pull your tape off and then lay this down oh there we go we've got a little bit showing but what I did do then before I just push it the other way and then I know it's all stuck down where it needs to be and then we can tuck our flaps in and that's, oh, see that should have gone in there and that should have gone to the back so it doesn't matter just add a bit more tape just so I keep all the seams at the back this tape is awful to get off it's so sticky and I mean so sticky so let me just get that off wow look at that it even wants to pull the back off there we go so tuck your flaps in I've got a little bit hanging over but I'm not going to bother about that I'm going to have to now tuck nice and straight keep that nice and straight gainer no don't go wonky fired there we go perfect and any little bits there we go so we've got a nice straight edge we've got our side and i should have done my little hole first but i'm just gonna poke that in Keeping it roughly in the centre and pop out my thumbnail. Uh, get my tissues and I'm going to pop them. They're upside down. And they fit in there. Beautiful. And because we've mitered the top end of this little uh, cute box, look at that. Fits in there like a glove. we're gonna now now see there where we've scored it the one inch find the back of your box now I've got a little bit of tape hanging out so I don't mind that but I'm just literally I'm gonna put the distance either side I'm gonna get to this section I'm just gonna pinch I'm gonna get to this section you can remove this now and just fold where you've pinched keeping it straight and if you notice I'm only using it if you've got no tools for this job it's easy again slide that onto the back wrap that around wrap this around and push and squeeze Again, you can take this back and just fold it, keeping it nice and straight. Making sure we've got that nice. Oh, perfect. And then here, again, we're just going to pinch and fold that over. And then where we've got our first flap, lift up and then you're gonna just pop some glue in there I'm gonna use my wet glue for this making sure I keep it light along the edge and because my little tape was uh, sticking out I don't think my belly band will come off but do I want it to come off really this is the back of the box we've got our seams all at the back and our opening is at the back so this is that beautiful front section love this tape 
Um, just grab my pokey tool and my little vase. You don't have to do this, but my label's going across there. But uh, beautiful, absolutely stunning. And I'm going to add just a little bit of glue, but I'm only going to add it to the centre because I know. And I'm going to add this at an angle. Ah. Oh. Just wait for it. My glue goes off so fast, it's unreal. I love it. So I'm gonna pop that away. I've got my, I've used Rococo Rose. I might just swap it to black this time because I want it to stand out. My stamp is a little bit big for this label, but I can still get the thank you in and just to not stamp the bottom bit so where it says thank you get myself some scrap i mean i could turn it over and have the whole label on the back like that but i love the fact that it's got those beautiful leaves to match those i'm just gonna pull this down and I'm putting the, the top of the letters at the top of the label. Oh, cute, cute, cute. I love it. I love this stamp set. It's from a card kit and I can't, I think it's called Thanks a Million. Yes, I remember seeing it online on the Stampin' Up! website. I think they still sell it, the card kit. It's called, oh, one in a million. It's either thanks a million or one in a million card kit, and uh, it come it comes with this. Thank you, uh, a million thanks. I think it might even be called a million thanks, but it's seriously grateful for you. And all I can say is thanks. I just love it. It's just one, two, three, four, and two little flowers. But this comes in the kit, and once your kit's done and dusted, well, obviously I got a little box with all my kit stamp sets in because they don't come in the packets like the stamp sets let me show you so they don't come in a case they just come loose inside the packets but you can either get yourself one of these i think stamping up still sell them i don't quote me because i don't know but you could get three either side maybe four either side you'd probably get eight stamps and then just write a label on it and just put kits kits and uh, stamps uh, card kit stamps and then that's what i've done but i've used one of the old card kits boxes has a stamp kit so there's an idea for you ladies i'm gonna flick this over because my ink is nice and juicy and i'm just gonna add my dimensionals i even found these are noble peacock and i've got three left which i used on here one two three and i've just got three left to use on this box as well so perfect so don't get rid of any of your other i know some of the beautiful stamping up demonstrators do get rid of I mean, you could add it down the bottom, but I thought I'd add this at an angle. Absolutely stunning. Grab my, I think that one's got to have that on because my little glue dot fell off. And then I'm gonna just pop one that side. I'm gonna pop one this side. And I other t my other one I had here, so this time I'm just going to add, I think I'm going to add it down here this time. So there is, we've got a two inch band and we've got a three inch band. Uh, my label is stuck because I've left a tiny little bit of overhang there. But if you've got your glue perfect, this would, the belly band would slide in and off, but you don't need to you've got a gorgeous little set these 
coming. Oh, I'm in pack. Oh, I've just thrown the thingy. I think you get a pack of ten in. These are in needles. Um, they're something like a pound or one pound twenty, and you get ten packets. So if you've got, like I'm saying, extra designer series paper, you wanted to give these away at, or table favors, little table favors. Wouldn't that be beautiful to put on a table? And there's a little gift inside for each uh, each person that comes to your little gathering how cute's that love it so there we go let me see if i've got some lighter paper quickly just to show you so i can because i couldn't see the lines so much i've got loads of extra design series paper so oh here goes i've got this i love this this Oh, that would make a beautiful tissue box. Let's see what, what colours on the back of here. I don't think that would make a good belly band. What's on the back of the black and white? Oh, that might. That would make a beautiful tissue box as well. Mind you, so would this. <laughs> I love the berry vanilla. I never used to like berry vanilla. Oh, that would nice. That'd be pretty. I think that and that would make a beautiful belly band. So let's do another one really quickly. Grab my trimmer. We know how to make the belly band. It's easy. So, seven and three eighths. Cut this down to seven and a half. And let's do this at three inches just to say we can use the opposite side. So that's the belly band. I and mean, you could have that opposite like that. These would be really cute. Love that. So let's do a rapid one. I do like that gold though, mine. Oh, let's have a gold. Let me have a gold one quickly. Let's check the width of that. That is. Oh, look at that. Just less than seven and a half. And let's get three inches off there. Oh, that is going to be a beautiful belly band. It's not really going to be the whole complete box and labels. It's just that I wanted to show you where the cut-in was because I couldn't really see it on that one. But I always, always, um, always do it on the reverse. So this is seven and a half. So six and a half. That will start off our belly band. Right, seven and three eighths. It's one inch five and three eighths six and three eighths two and a quarter three and a quarter five and a half and six and a half so quick and simple you can pop these out to a penny now you can see my lines better so this is going to be the top of our oh, the bottom of our box and this is going to be the top so let me show you rapid. We're going to cut down there, down there, uh, and we're going to miter off the first one, and we are going to miter the first one at the bottom, and then just cut up. You can do a border. These are literally going to be the bottom, so I'm just going to take a little fraction. But this is how quick you can get this box coming together. And then snip off the first box and mitre. Mitre. I think that needs a little fraction done off there. Then you can cut down. Cut down. Remove this one. 
Remove this one. Mitre. This is just, I'm just showing you this how quickly you can get these done if you were doing them for a craft fair. And you could even leave them all at this stage, like this. And then when you come to go to your craft fair, let me just fold this first line. Because uh, I want to add my tape right along the edge. And then right along the back. I'm going to come in a little bit so I don't go all the way over the top this time. And then we can burnish these others. Just do it quick with your finger. This is how these paper ones come together. Look at that. It's going to fit perfect this time. Take off the back end. Fold your card stuck right along that edge. Finish that down and then flip it over the other way. I mean, you could get to them to this stage and you've got your box ready to go. And then all you have to do is tuck in your sides. I didn't burnish the bottom, but it's just paper so i've got where's my seam oh the seam is there so i'm gonna push this down and this is gonna be the bottom of my box so let's get i'm just gonna add a small piece of tape just along this edge which i could have done but then i didn't know where my seam was until the end So I'll tuck the sides in, make sure it's nice and straight along the edge without twisting. Beautiful. Grab your tissues. I've got a green packet this time. Perfect fit. Oh, then we need our little thumbnail and just position it either. You don't have to go all, all the way into the center. Just pop out your thumbnail. Pop in your one. You've got to just mitre these ends out from the first score line up. You don't want to take too much off like I've just done either. You just need a really thin mitre. And you can fold and tuck. Your little flapping. She says once she gets it over the top. <laughs> oh, fits snug. And then you can find the back, which I'm quite there. It is. There's the back of my box. So this is the back. So I'm going to come this way and that's exactly one inch and again just pinch and score and then fold over your cardstock making sure it all lines up and you've only got to use your finger again wrap it around again just pinch I mean you don't even have to take it off and fold it you could just do it like this Again, I'm going to lift that flap up this time, get it out of the way, and just score it with your thumbnail, and then your crease sits right along the back of this box. I'm just going to grab some tape, so it's the same box, just done twice, so we can show you the score lines and where to cut and how fast you can make them. So, come back in, wrap your little container around, 
make sure it comes right level oh there is that beautiful box and this time i'm saying this time my belly band's not <laughs> I've just creased it a little bit tight, but if you don't really need to take your belly band off, it does move, look. So you can just get it in the center. And then there you go. You can add your label. You could just add a sentiment from a, a punched. Let me just grab my little box again because let's see what we've got. I've got the gold ones. I mean, that would look cute on there, but it's a little bit big for the box. But you could leave that on a, as an angle and write your message on. Add some string, maybe even. Oh, no, it's a little bit too tight to tuck it inside. Oh, we've got a smaller one there, look. And you could add a nice little label on the side. Stamp your message, add some beautiful copper ribbon, and there we go. Another cute little hanky box and a little gift idea or a little swaps idea. If you've got your own events and you don't mind using old cardstock, you can use even the current cardstock, but it's up to you. But these, they're not my idea. I've made them in the past with cardstock. Um, but I watched a lady the other day, it's called Stamp with Jane and i just thought what a cute idea and it brought back memories that i'd done one before so do it with cardstock it'd be even stiffer but then you're adding you're adding your layers then for the sides the front the back your belly band you could even just leave them plain and do a, a decorative belly band which would be a cute little idea but there we go i hope you've enjoyed them but fetch them in so you can see <laughs> Take care, ladies. God bless and always for the glory of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Till next time. Love you all. Bye.